a powerful music duo has taken on the Russians. Well, Russian music, that is. And Rachmaninoff never sounded so sweet. Played by world-famed cellist Wendy Warner and piano great Irina Nuzova, they're thrilling audiences everywhere. And they have a new CD out. We sat down with them in New York to talk a little music. Wendy Warner and Irina Nuzova are both accomplished musicians who've taken on Russian music with great elan. I always feel I need something uh, for my soul and uh, I have been playing uh, Rachmaninoff for many years and uh, I felt uh, it was necessary uh, for myself to record it. We read it through together with Wendy and we fell in love with that piece. But I did not study the Moskovsky. That is Irina's discovery, and I'm so glad she introduced that piece to me. Wendy did study at the famed Curtis Institute under the master, Mstislav Rostoprovich. I studied with him from age 16 to age 23. Irina studied at Juilliard after rigorous training in Russia, her home country. Five years ago, Irina was looking for a cellist to play with, and that's when these two musical forces came together, creating Warner Nuzova. I just went to a concert at Carnegie Hall and I heard Wendy playing uh, together with Gideon Kramer. I was uh, stunned by her musicianship and I called her up and I suggested to read together. Instantaneously felt a connection. All at the tip of her fingers she could play just about anything. So that was amazing. I started piano actually when I was four and I wanted to be a pianist, so. <laughs> but I'm glad that I'm not because there's too many good pianists. Um, and my mom chose the cello for me when I was six, and it was not love at first sight. I, I thought of myself as more a soprano feminine voice, but it, within the next six months, I fell in love with the sound. I actually wanted to be a conductor. Really? I never yes, knew that. Yes, I could I, see you conducting, actually. I remember I was in the back of the car driving with my parents to a country house, and I said, I want to be a conductor, because every time they would leave home, so I would turn on the abduction from Seraglio oh uh, by Mozart. But Maybe uh, you'll still be a conductor, and I'll still become a pianist. Their emotional interpretation of this powerful music resonates with audiences everywhere. The performers and audiences, they, they have this mutual trust, you know, and this is the language of the art, whether, whether it's a, a virtual language or, or it's a musical language uh, or, or if you're looking at the painting, I think you just have to open yourself up and uh, let it, you know, come to you. I think it also helps though that when you feel close to the music, you feel like it's a part of your soul. And, or your personality. There's some composers that you identify with more than other composers, and it, you feel it more intrinsically as your own. Irina's married and has two young children. Sometimes I'm practicing my Schubert, and then I suddenly like this chicken soup is like, oh my God, what am I gonna do for, for dinner? She likes to shop. I, I'm very low maintenance girl. <laughs> Well, yeah, she's I, influencing me. She's trying to get me into more like clothes and makeup. I yeah. do have um, a shoe problem, shoe mania, <laughs> and, and a bag mania, <laughs> yes. But their music mania is one love that we're all lucky enough to get to share. Well, Wendy and Irina's new CD is called Warner Nuzova, Russian Music for Cello and Piano, and it's available now. Better, we'll be right back.